I would never ask you to do that. You don't have to. I don't want work getting in our way. You and Jack. That's what's important now. Are you sure? I have never been more sure. Hey guys, Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here to get all the scoop from When Calls the Heart. Season nine? How did we get to season nine, Aaron? I don't understand. <laughs> With support from our fans and support from the great network Hallmark Channel. And um, yeah, a little bit of, of luck, I guess. That Hope Valley magic. I know. And I, I saw the first episode of the new season and the Hope Valley magic is there. But of course, you know, for people that haven't seen it yet, where, where do we pick up? You know, how much time has passed since the finale? So, you know, I have always felt like time in Hope Valley is... Um, fake. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not the right word for it. But um, we take liberties when we need to. Sometimes it takes a really long time to get to Hamilton. Sometimes it happens very quickly. So right. in any case, I, I think a few months have passed. So a bit of time since last season's finale. Um, and but not not so much time that our audience will feel like they've really missed out on anything. Yeah. And, and, you know, last season when we talked so much about the love triangle, which got resolved, you know, Elizabeth is with Lucas. They're, they're happy together at this point. What, what's, what's up, what's coming up for them in this new season? Are they going to have some challenges and some bumps in the road or are things smooth sailing? Well, I mean, they'll have some challenges. Of course, it's a new relationship and I think they're really uh, getting to learn more about each other in, in a new way now as, boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, but, but no, things are, things are for the most part pretty good. And I think that that was a response to what the Hardys really wanted to see for Elizabeth, which was, you know, they wanted her to be happy and they wanted her to be in love again. And so we couldn't, we wouldn't want to mess that up too much right away. Let's let them enjoy this blossoming romance. I know it's very nice to see. But of course, Nathan is also still around. And so, you know, my first questions were, how, how, are, how, are, how are Nathan and Elizabeth? How's Nathan and Lucas? What do we see as far as that goes in the new season? Um, I think Nathan and Elizabeth are maybe a little bit awkward to start at the beginning of the season, but it feels like both of them really want to be there for each other as friends and as a support system. There's still two people who care about each other a lot and that doesn't just go away because elizabeth happened to love the other guy right right and, what, and i don't know if this is a spoiler or not what is on nathan's face what's on his face <laughs> a caterpillar <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's rocking some like post breakup uh mustache i guess it's like a heartbreak mustache hashtag heartbreak mustache <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think he just, he wanted to, I don't know if it was Kevin or Nathan, but wanted to try a new look. And so we'll see how long that sticks around. And um, what, what else is new this season? Because I feel like the town is always going through some changes. There might be some new faces. Can you talk about what we're seeing in that regard? Yeah, absolutely. Well, our town is changing. Our community is changing. Um, as far as the town goes, you know, we're seeing a lot more traffic, more cars on our street. Um, we're opening up a new business in town. The newspaper is in full swing. So there's a lot of activity happening in Hope Valley. And then, yeah, like you said, we, we like to bring in some, some new people in our town and we've got some great new characters this season. Um, some exciting storylines uh, with those new characters. So a lot of um, fresh, new, exciting stories coming in season nine. Yeah, I want, I want to ask about Mae Sue because she's a new mm -hmm. character we meet in the first one. And right away, I'm like, okay, is there an air of mystery around her? Is there something going on? What, how does she get kind of, how does she become a part of the town? Well, our viewers will see her entrance is a dramatic one. Um, and it is a little mysterious. I think you're you're left kind of wondering, is, is there more to May than what meets the eye? And we'll discover more and more about May as the season progresses. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but she's a, she's a really complex, interesting character. And Amanda does a beautiful job playing her. Um, we're very lucky that she joined us this season. Tell everybody watching this, when does When Calls the Heart return to Hallmark? 
It returns on Sunday, March 6th. I'm sure the Hardys will be watching, as will I. But um, Aaron, thanks for your time, as always. Thanks so much, Jim. Good to see you. Mm-hmm.